So for this session on graphic resources, I'm going to invite Dr. Deepti Gupta from CIET and CRT. Uh, Ma'am, I hope you are here. Yes, good morning, Dr. Monica. Uh, good morning, good morning, ma'am, and welcome to you for uh, this particular session in the phase two of SRG. We are here with uh, participants from southern states, and one state, uh, uh, one UT is different uh, from southern, that is uh, Ladakh is also included here. Uh, so the preferable language would be English, uh, but you can definitely switch on and off to a little bit of Hindi, not much. And uh, that's it. Welcome to you. And now I hand over the session to you. Thank you, Anika, ma'am. <clears throat> Morning to all and uh, welcome for the session. As uh, Monica Mama has told about like today's session will be on the graphic resources. And uh, under that, we are covering the two major uh, type of e-content that will be infographics will be taken by me. And the next part will be the mind mapping or the concept mapping that will be taken by the, the resource person. So uh, I will start with the, the concept of what are graphic resources firstly. So graphic resources are the visual resources. Yesterday as in the report presentation, uh, you have discussed uh, the type of e-content has been already discussed. And under that, uh, one of the type of e-content is the graphic resources. So if we consider about like broader area, that is a kind of visual resource. And uh, what is the importance of graphic resources we'll discuss? And we'll discuss about some tools in this session, how you can create your own infographic. Uh, before starting the presentation, I would let, just like to ask you that uh, uh, you might have created some kind of graphic resources or some visual resources. So in just a quick uh, just a message in the chat box, any kind of visual resources or the graphic resources you already have created. So I will be happy to if someone has created using any name of the tool you can mention in the chat box too. So it could any, any kind of graphic resources, any one of you have created earlier using some specific tool or the, uh, yes, Matthew has responded Canva. And uh, Jeff using GeoGebra, I don't flash, okay. Canva easily, that's very nice. Okay, so uh, till now the response is yes, VU, are you mentioned? I think it's VU, E, sir and open tools, okay. So most majorly the uh, teachers have used Canva. So today we'll be also demonstrating about the Canva and some other tools too. One of the name you we have received easily too. So, okay, uh, so uh, we'll start the presentation and accordingly we'll switch over to the demonstration part too. So I'm sharing my screen. I hope my screen is visible. So we'll be discussing about, first of all, what are the uh, graphic resources, various kinds of graphic resources. Fine. So as some of the teachers have mentioned that they have already used Canva, Easily, OpenTunes, VUE. So as a teacher, we all know the import importance of visual resources and one kind of important uh, visual resources, the graphic resource. And graphics, what are graphics basically? It's a visual representation of any object. And it includes both the textual thing, the colors, different colors, the illustration, the graphs. So the some of the major broader examples of graphics are charts, maps, diagrams, photographs, image drawings, and paintings. And in our daily teaching learning process, we all use these kind of resources. Uh, mostly we use in the physical form. Like whenever we have done our pre-service teacher training program, we have all learned to develop the teaching learning material. And in that, the chart, maps, and diagrams, all these things is a compulsion for us to make, prepare, and use in the classroom. Still, we are using these uh, teaching learning material in the classrooms. But uh, while in the, during the teaching learning process, we, in the regular days, we don't get enough time to create by our own. So what we usually do, we ask our students to create some of the graphic resources. And uh, we expect to find out the students who are good at creating the diagrams or drawing and can prepare these kind of graphic resources. We identify those of students and ask them to create. But uh, in the uh, presently using technology, it is 
much easier to create this type of e-content. And once these are created, these graphic resources are created, it is much uh, uh, durable, we can say. If we want to decorate our class, we can uh, create these resources and we can take out the easily print, take out the printout and just even uh, display all the graphic resources in our school premises and even the classrooms. Uh, besides teaching and learning, of course. So the graphic resources has its own importance like the other type of content. First of all, if uh, as a teacher, I want to uh, ask my students to read any concept and tell, let me uh, know about that. So be better than that, if I show any image in the chart form or the flashcard we usually do, and we can introduce a topic and we can show that particular image or the picture and ask them what they are getting it. Like what in that particular image or the uh, diagram, what are they observing? So from that, uh, the observation of the students will be, can be taken and we can introduce our topic of the classroom easily. And we all know the phase like better uh, thousand picture, uh, one picture is more than a thousand words. So that seeing the picture or the graphic resource can uh, we uh, like uh, inter uh, help, help us to introduce a topic and even summarize a topic in the classroom. So a graphic resources has an importance. First of all, it is uh, to re better retain any concept by seeing that particular picture or the image, any graphic resources. And through that, a user or the person who can, who is seeing that image or the graphic can extract the information of particular concept and idea much easily way. And uh, you might have seen in the in present days, like in the newspaper, in any website, in any magazine, everywhere, wherever the uh, presentation of any textual content in a graphical form has been demonstrated, it is called in an infographic form only. Any flowchart you can say, any process you can say, any data representation is coming out in the um, any any platform. So everything is coming in the form of infographics. And uh, seeing that particular infographic, easily the concept uh, can be uh, taken, concept can be taken and understood easily. And it is in a much exciting way. So any complex information that is presented in a textual form in the books uh, can be understood in a much better way. And it helps us to demonstrate, like uh, present our data. If we want to present any, any research data or any kind of data, uh, usually we do in a bar graph or the pie graph. That is also, uh, will also help us to, for the visual representation of data. And it adds to our, uh, at that particular context and information. And uh, once these graphic resources are created, it will be uniquely created and it will be the time saving resources. So all the type of digital content, uh, whenever they are prepared and they, um, they were uh, saved or uploaded and shared with a particular group of community or the students. It's our, our flexibility that we can change it anytime. So once we have to devote the particular time to create that infogra or any resource, e content, and later we can just edit and modify it as per our requirement or the demand. And any if any updation is required, and we can use many a times in the future. So, and we can, after creating this e-content, you can share it uh, with the, uh, all the stakeholders much easily just on a single click. And we all know how we are sharing the information nowadays to WhatsApp and Telegram and any social media platforms. We are quickly sharing our information. So similar way, once these uh, resources are created, they can be shared easily through the masses. And here are some examples. Uh, just I have discussed everywhere you are seeing an infographic only nowadays. So I have given the two examples. On the left hand side, you can see there's a simple a safety rule for how to wear a mask during the COVID period. If you are not using the non-medical mask, uh, medical mask, then non-medical mask, how we should uh, wear, how should we wear that particular mask? So there are some do's and don'ts are present. So the small images are like you can say an image. Uh, objects or the animated forms and a little text is written over at the down. So it, uh, it is representing the do's of how to wear a non-medical graphic mask. Another one on the right hand side, you can see the Wikipedia for educator. It is a data representation of the data infographic in which it is a, it's given like how uh, Wikipedia is used by how many students 
and uh, the ears ears are mentioned then how much uh, uh, views are there how much uh, people have created the content edited the content how many courses are present on wikipedia all this information is included on a single infographic and if i is i am a researcher and i have to present my data so i can just create a simple graph and give a give a data and with the small icons it will be attractive and uh, whenever the student or any person will see the infographic once they can get an exactly the idea what this infographic is representing and what information the this particular uh, resource has we uh, is conveying to me so these are so according to infographics are uh, can say are the graphic or the visual representation of information data or any knowledge we want to present to our students or the colleagues and uh, i have already discussed about the educational use of infographics again i am repeating it is it acts as a visual resources visual teaching aids you can say it can be included for for the discussion started in the classroom uh, as you use your flash card or the chart papers you must have used in a similar way it can be used as a discussion starters to introduce a topic and finally to summarize the topic even you can ask your students to a uh, create their own infographic after learning any concept so it will give you uh, the much better way like creativity of the students will come out by using this uh, tools which will be demonstrating in the coming minutes so you can ask your students to create a similar way of infographic so they will create their pick their own images photographs and they can create a infographic then next one is to visualize the data the data representation too Right. So while creating the infographic, a teacher or any any person has to take care of few things. What features it should include in uh, in your infographic? First of all, it should be comprehensive. Like if we talk about any topic, and there are various subtopics in particular text in any concept, to try to uh, make it comprehensive, select a few portion of your text uh, concept, and in that include maximum information. Uh, through images or the visuals and minimum text, and it should be appealing. In if we talk about appealing, is the uh, is the color, the color combinations you are using, the font size you are using, the relevant images you are using. If you are using any video URLs, any extra links of the website, overall the look and the look of the infographic should be appealing to your audience. uh i will not say any particular color will not be preferred but ha you have to take care of like for smaller children or the younger ones you have to take care of the color should be uh, like bright colors can be used and uh, for the like senior classes you can use the subtle colors like mostly the black and blues are used for the infographic the textual text part i will say and for the younger the if you are creating any worksheets that you have to put any animated characters animated images uh put uh, has to be put it will be appealing for that particular age group the next one is to a retentive like that the particular infographic which you are creating uh like it will not say the force it will should it should uh, compel your students to retain the information so it is it should be so much attractive like the students can retain whatever information you want to give to them so these should be some particular features which has to take care of and if we talk about the various type of infographics is uh, like not not a specific category but a majorly in education we use uh, the topics like we make our objectives learning outcomes we have to tell our student to uh, learn any concept the difference between any concept or uh, any process or any data or any timeline so these infographics uh, shown here is the first one is the comparison infographic the comparison between two topics so you can see a simple i have just taken out try to find out some already created infographic from internet uh to so be of like uh, whatever i find out under double c license so coffee and a tea difference what are the benefits and the pros and cons of these two uh, drinks to take uh, take so and the second one is the data infographic or the you can say the geographic infographic in which the demographic infographic or country is given uh, the population fact and all as various states can are represented in the different colors and the next one is the photosynthesis process 
and this is called as a process infographic where this how the various um, how the process of photosynthesis is taking place and the lower one is a complete timeline this infographic representing a genomic classification in which era what has happened has been shown by the images and what are the major outcomes of that particular era has been shown like whatever uh, in the through this is a big infographic so you might have seen on the website uh, even deepthi ma'am yes uh, we are receiving request for voice raising the voice it is not clearly audible to all this is you okay okay <coughs> uh, you can be a louder and also if you want please check your uh, speaker voice you can increase the voice of your system also yes why i have checked my voice is 100% maybe i have to hold my uh, earphones actually now i hope it's okay is it okay now everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am yes yes okay so uh, the various tool which uh, there are many tools available online available and many of them you can download in the mobile app and on desktop version mostly all the tools are of online version so you need an internet connection uh, to work on these tools some of you have mentioned already canva so canva is a famous infographic tool which are especially during the covid period all the teachers have explored so many tools and cit is also supporting uh, all the teachers to identify new tools and giving the presentations through our webinar series so uh, canva is the most uh, like uh, i think most used one tool to create an infographic another one is easily uh, wengage picto chart bisme infograph or visualize me these are some of the infographic tools which can be used online to create your own info infographic and today uh, i will be showing you the some demonstration for three tools the canva easily and the another one is for google slides we all know the importance of google apps nowadays some of the features can be explored through google slides too which will help us to create an infographic so uh, uh, many of you have used canva but uh, may might be when someone has not used so we are starting with the canva first of all uh, for every online tool you have to create an account and uh, there is a small uh, suggestion that whenever you are signing up for any tool online tool prefer to log in with your associating gmail id so i will just show you the some first of all some screenshots and later i will directly go to the online tool so you will open canva.com uh, this is a website for canva tool and after that the second step is you have to create the account and there are two options coming two or three options will be visible to create an account first will be through associating with your google account or the facebook or your email or another way so as i suggested that you have uh, prefer to associate or sign up on any online tool through google account it will help you uh, if you are using uh, many tools as a teacher so it will help you not to Uh, recall or memorize your password every time so it will be associated and it will help us to uh, work easily the next one uh, after logging or signing up you will get your home page and these online tools provides you the free space like a uh, dashboard your own dashboard uh, where you all your work will be all your projects or the work will be saved for the later use you can use the created infographic whether uh, in the download version saving it as a jpeg file or the png file or the video file and other option is you can directly open your canva account and you can demonstrate that particular infographic in your classroom and uh, this uh, the benefit of uh, having your e content saved in your dashboard is that anywhere you are uh, going for some presentation you can directly open your account and demonstrate that particular e content created e content so these online tools provide us the flexibility not to download every type of e content and taking it into the pen drive and many times it happens and you uh, put your pen drive in some new place and your if the uh, system has containing uh, containing any virus and your pen drive gets corrupted sorry so for that you can avoid this thing
sorry i am having cough <laughs> okay so so every work of yours will be <clears throat> saved on your dashboard so uh, the space is provided by the online tool itself then <clears throat> after that uh, you will start creating your own template and this is a <clears throat> screenshot of uh, the template editing where this the canva tool will provide you the ready made templates <clears throat> if i say template then template means the ready made Yes. So templates are the ready-made. You can say like in uh, PowerPoint presentation, you might have seen that they were ready-made templates of the designs, or on the particular themes or the type of infographics. It is provided by the software, the online tool, which will help the teachers to get an idea. Like here, you can see a template having a big bold, colorful type uh, title. and the template or the page or the blank page has been divided into two parts here the different color combinations are given the different small icons or the objects are given so this will help you to identify the template as per your topic or the concept and you can just click it and on a single click you will able to edit that and design redesign it as per your requirement or on the as per your topic so these ready made templates under various categories been given by the online tools and this will save your time just not to think about what color you have to select what font you have to select whatever the small objects or the icons you have to select or what type of infographic you want to create so this uh, this is the benefit of creating the e content through these online tools then you have to choose the template as per your requirement and later you will start editing by adding some different elements if i talk about elements elements are the small objects or the images i will just demonstrate you uh, directly coming to the online tool first of all so here is the canva.com i have opened so i will move on step by step then uh, we can practice simultaneously or after the session you can practice too so first of all you have to open canva.com and the first step is to sign up and i will just click on sign up as i have shown you there are the various uh, ways to getting uh, get sign up in the account <clears throat> you are just to click the uh, google uh, continue with google and when you click on google if i have already logged in into my account of gmail on another the, the tab already i have signed in here so i will uh, it, it will just start to sign up with the google account i think it's processing I'm just closing it once more because I think internet issue is there. I think there is internet issue. I'm closing the tab and I'm opening. canva.com i am clicking on sign up continue with google and it asked me from which gmail id i have to log in as i am logged in many gmail id so i am just clicking on one email id when you are using first time you have to enter your email id and it will ask for your password so don't feel uh, uh, don't uh, don't think that you have to not to enter the password of your gmail id because no, none of the account will save your gmail id so once you have to enter it once you will sign up and whenever you will sign up with the a uh, login with the gmail id it will take to your canva gmail account canva account here so automatically by default they will take your uh, id 
your event photograph if you have put in your gmail account and here this the dashboard is open now so this is my account and here uh, i would like to tell that this is a free account created and every online tool has many types of different slicing plan and they will ask they can pop uh, get a notification uh, or might possible in emails you can get the notification of getting the canva pro account so you don't worry about the canva pro account because here you are create you have created account the free version there are the pro accounts which can be used but in the last presentation i came to know from one of the participants i think from uttarakhand state that a teacher can get a pro account by free of cost only and i we have explored that so coming on to the education here and if, if you select the teachers and schools and if you are a teacher and using this canva account and you want to use the pro pro features of the canva account you have to get yourself verified so coming on the education you get verified they will ask you all basic uh, things like uh, name school name email id uh, and uh, the organizational website and if you if you will you continue this one step they will ask to upload your identity card so you can do that and if they verify your account you can get the pro version that is basically paid version but for teachers they are providing the free facility so uh so uh, so what you can do you can get the uh, pro version features by uh, entering into the teachers and school category and you can get yourself verified and you can get the pro features too so this is one way of getting yourself registered for ma'am yes ma'am what was this uh, free teacher resources yes ma'am should come down the third option yes yes ma'am okay this one you am saying ma'am yes ma'am okay uh on a free teachers resources already created resources by the teachers that are created by someone else like if you are create you have created your resources and you are socially uh, like uh, displaying to the all the teachers so they can use uh, the uh, resources created by the other teachers can be used by you so here are the different templates and they are asking to edit the templates find the presentation according to your requirement and you can edit that so these are the teacher uh, resources created by the teachers like you if you will create your resources and you can at last uh, display it or the open it to the public they can be seen by others too and if you want to make it close you can yourself you only you want to use in your classroom uh, this is a different basically after creating your e content so uh, you don't need to get the uh, canva pro account the or for the pricing like plan you just have to create on education and you can get on the teachers and school and later you can upload your id and you can get your verified and you can use the pro version okay so if you scroll down there are different categories of the uh, templates available so as per your requirement you can select on you can go to the templates and then depending on your topic if you want to use what kind of infographic you want to use for social media for newsletter purpose for presentation purpose just scroll down and according to your requirement and these are some suggested templates given by the website if you want to create timeline like here timeline is given so you can click on that and start editing nowadays people are uh, using this resume templates uh, more often we are getting uh, resumes see different uh, if i want to present a report newsletter anything fine so depending the requirement on your requirement you have to select the template like if we talk about the subject wise you can take any subject just find out if you are thinking about your solar system here this is a given template can this is a pro version i have not created the pro account so i'm taking picking up any free template so i have to identify which is the free template available and if i show you whatever work i have done already on my dashboard it will saved under my projects 
So if I click on the projects, I will get my different folders I can create of particular class. You will say if you have created infographics of a particular class, you save it in a one folder. If any particular infographic uh, created for, like I will take this example only. I have shown in your in my presentation. Okay, so I have just uh, double click uh, on this in template and it get opens into my toolbar. If I want to change the template, I can change it from here too. I will just see the filters here, whatever type of infographic, like I want to take nature. So the templates of the nature will appear. So you can change the template at the later stage too. Okay, so this is your particular template available and you start with renaming your template. Okay, here is the template rename. So I will just edit and I can get it into any topic like. <coughs> around it. A simple title of my template is edited. And now you can see like here's a, uh, it is little smaller view I am getting. So I can change it, zoom in, zoom out in this way from the lower button. Here. Okay, here on the left hand side is the major toolbar. First of all, a template. Second one, elements. I will click on elements. So you can just see wherever I am clicking on the template and a purple box is the color may vary. A blue box can come depending on the template type. So this these uh, boxes are coming. That means this is editable. So if I just double click on this title and I can type it my own, the topic of my top uh, changes around the slide. So this is the topic title of my infographic I have changed. I can just uh, uh, change its position anywhere on my template. If I the blue box or the color colored box is coming, that means it's editable. I can delete from delete button. If I don't want this title, I can delete this particular element or the object. So editing can be done wherever the box is coming. And you can see here the copy duplicate. If I want to duplicate this title, I click on that. It will get a duplicate title here. I can delete it. I can again send backwards and forward. Yes, I'm like we do in our presentations too. We can animate it. If I click on to animate, you can see the fade up and rise effect. Just see the changes on the title coming up here. So I can animate it. Then I will click wipe. Title is coming in a wipe form. So animation is been applied here. If you talk about a different type of elements coming, I am not satisfied with this person eating. I think it's eating. He's eating something. I will delete it. According to my topic, I will change. See the different. Uh, categories of the elements, stickers, photos, videos, audios, charts, tables, frames, a lot of categories. And further see like small elements of different themes are also given. So I'll just find out if anything related to changes around us. I can search something for that. Hmm. And I'm randomly searching like fire. So if I were liking this one, I will just click it. And here it will appear. I can resize it and fix it somewhere where I want to fix it. So changes around us. I will just want to see, show like how. Okay, so this is the particular element I have added. In the same way, a different kind of elements can be taken up pick. And if you are not satisfied this element which are presently provided by the tool, what you can do, you can upload your own images. So uh, in yesterday's session, there's a discussion about the Creative Commons license. And we would prefer that you click your own images or the photographs and upload on uh, this infographic and create your own infographic. 
so for uploading you have to just upload go to upload file and wherever your image is present you can just click it and upload the benefit of this uh, platform is one uh, benefit is that whatever images videos audios you uploaded once in this account can by account can be later seen any time later used any time suppose this images i have uploaded in the last time and i want to reuse it in this present this infographic i can just click it and i can bring it here so num the number of any number of images or uh, audios videos file you can upload it here if i want to upload any video i will uh, in the earlier presentation i have uploaded this video so it is all ready present in my dashboard i can just click it it's a 50 second video and it will come here fine again i video can be resized and set anywhere in similar way audio can be uploaded too so various kinds of uploads are also available if i want to add any new text box like i can add the new text box here so this is a text box and and i can you just type it anything the text box is ready okay so this is the projects what kind of a projects you have created if you have already created your various folders you can uh, create your own folder here suppose this topic is on class 6 so i am creating this infographic for class 6 i will create the folder so it will it will uh, i can just move it this uh, file into this folder i can manage my critical infographic same way videos already there video database a uh, lot of videos are also present so as uh, this if i talk about changes around us i will like to find out some video if i could get i can put that video too fine um, later you can connect this uh, with your google drive account so whatever uh, your uh, image or data or any images or videos are in saved in your google drive account it will connect to your google drive account along with the gmail id and you can upload and share this uh, or the data or the elements through your google drive too so once your information is edited in the textual form and different kind of elements you can add different kind of uh, in which video into video audio and textual boxes and images all are included and if you want some extra information to be provided to a student you can click on whenever you clicking on any particular box you can further re edit on the upper toolbar so if you am taken selected this particular text box you can change the font type font size font color and the basic uh, word editing do documents like in the fine bold italic central uh, the justification the bullet points anything can be done further with this uh, toolbar and if you want to fix any particular object position on that infographic you can lock it so if i am taking this image uh, this happens because whenever the infographic is created and you want to work collaboratively with your colleagues or the student uh you can ask them to edit you can share them uh, this infographic and you can if if they can if you are not supposed to change any particular position or particular uh, object you will you have to lock it so i'm just selecting this particular image and going in to lock so you'll see a lock is appearing that means this uh, image cannot be shifted somewhere if i am sharing this with my colleagues or the students they cannot move this or delete this images until unless i have to unlock this and right, so this feature is very good and if i want to create any second page i can add a page or duplicate this page also so i am just clicking on the add page option a plain page will appear here if i want a similar infographic i will duplicate it so here is a blank page i have now i have created a blank page here i will show you one more thing the data representation that will come through the graphical form and the different type of charts available are here you can see all the type of charts so i am just clicking on the bar graph and whenever the uh, graph is coming here automatically by default the data table is coming here i can just edit this data table simultaneously like if i want to show the year i can just edit it here you can see here the changes are being done whenever i am typing here so if i want to change this the particular data i can change it and similarly uh, the graph is also changing 
if i want to change the colors of the graph i can do that too the colors can be changed again the font thing and all can be done fine mm -hmm. uh, different type of graph now if uh, this data uh, you want to export your own data you can do that by uploading your csv file or google sheet so i have to just click on google sheet and will uh, take to my google drive it will and i have to find out the data different type of data i have to give the access and after giving the access this will uh, okay abhi uh, like right now it is not support it is not connected to my gmail wait so by default what will happen it will take my will get connected to my google drive and whatever google sheet data is present it will show to show me here and i will just click that particular data google sheet and it will by default will create my graph here so there is a different forms of graphical presentation whenever you are creating the graphs okay so as a this uh, or lot many things can be done you have to explore while practicing yourself like after creating your infographic if everything is done the last step is to share, save and share with the stakeholders so what you can do you have to click on share and uh, <clears throat> you can click the like uh, the important part is to give the access you have an access right now for yourself only and if you want to share the link so that it can come to public domain and publicly available whenever like your mam has asked like what teacher sources are available so if you want to give that public access they can see view use your template so they can do that do that too you have to give the access to them okay now giving the public access you have to take care again further see things like in google drive we do you the public can view the uh, infographic they can comment or they can edit so whatever you are creating you have to take care by sharing to uh, the public you can uh, give the can comment view, uh, access so that if there is some uh, suggestion or any modification they require they can comment on that and later you can copy the link and share through various ways like emails or the social media or the whatsapp or the telegram groups fine this is one of the way sharing and if you want to uh, get this uh, infographic collaboratively edit by others you can do that too by adding the email id here and the next step is to share uh, download the infographic infographic can be downloaded in the jpeg png pdf or print form svg are the uh, pro version actually but what about the mp4 version Uh, like easily i have used in that uh, mp4 video is not uh, we are can download we can download only in the jpeg form but in there in this infographic this in canva tools as we are creating the different animation and we can we have used the small gifs like in this the fire we can download the mp4 version and in this we have also uh, added a 50 second video so depending on this the complete mp4 format includes the time of that particular video too so you can see my infographic has a timing of 55 seconds so if i click on the mp4 version here and if uh, and it is asking me which page or the uh, you have to download if i want to download only one page then i can click on one page only and if i just click it on done and download it will take time depending on the size of the mp4 video uh, presently is it 55 seconds so it's taking a little time so till then we can see the questions we have what is the maximum time for a video uh, ma'am uh, if you are asking the video time of, like infographic video time or the video uploaded in your infographic i haven't explored much but i short videos can be added i have seen that i will not say a 30 minutes video uh, because this is a free account and they, it might possible that if a more size video will be uploaded in the infographic it will occupy your uh, this uh, dashboards or your accounts space and if these online tools are providing us the facility of creating the free account and uploading of images and the videos definitely the server is taking space and 
I don't think so much space is given to each account because not many users around the world is using this Canva tool. So I don't think it will be given so much time for the longer video. So you can just try, but ha, if a video, one video is only of 30 minutes, might possible they will ask so not uh, like no space is allowed because in Gmail ID you have seen 15 GB is allowed. So you can yourself think if uh, globally uh, the free accounts or the free space server space has been provided by these uh, experts who have designed these softwares, so they cannot allow the much space. Can we access your projects? Yes, ma'am, you can access my project if I will publicly open it and I will share the link. And uh, regional language, yes, ma'am, this query has earlier come to, I will just show you here. If uh, you have worked for through Google input, so we usually do all the work, like mostly in Delhi, we use English and Hindi. So we use Google input tools for typing in different languages. So you have to just type on Google input tools and just try it out. Whatever language I have to uh, type in, I have to just select that language. As I mostly, well, I'm a Hindi per known person, so I'm just clicking on Hindi. If I am to type like uh, Shiksha, I'm typing. So I have to just type in the SMS language we type in English now. So it will give us the options of the most possible, the most accurate one is the almost the first one. So I will just click it and get it the word Shiksha. So I can just copy it here and on my infographic, I can, uh, here, this is my infographic. I will just edit it. Okay. I'll just show anywhere. The Google input tool allows you to type in Hindi and get a unique code format or you can type in regional languages too. If someone of you can tell me in different languages, so I can type and see. Any one of any language if you want to get typed. Telugu, Telugu, Telugu. Telugu, okay. So you have to tell me the sentence too. Madam, please try Kannada. Uh, one of, uh, so I still tell Telugu, I have opted for Telugu. Mm -hmm. So just tell me some, uh, something to type, sir, Telugu. Gurajada Appa Rao. Just tell me the, uh, how. Gurajada uh, Appa Rao. Okay. Gur okay. Gur Jada. Gur Jada. Yes. Apart. Okay. okay. So uh, the Telugu version first of Gur Jada, first one. First one. And Apart. Apart. Yes. Answer the first one. No. For Dirgam. Okay. I think it's Apart. Rao you said, no? Apart. Apart. Rao. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And another one sir said in Kannada. Kannada sir, no? Okay, sir. Kannada I selected ah, now. Tell me. Yes, yes sir. Kannada. Uh, Kalburgi. Uh, Chandra Sekhar. Chandra. Sekhar. Sekhar. Yes. Second okay. one. Second, Second one. Okay. Yes. Pawar. Pawar. Yes. Sec Pawar. Uh, fourth. Fourth one. Man. Fourth one. Yes. Okay. So I hope uh, the ma'am has asked the question to type in different languages. So I've gone for Telugu and Kannad. So you have to type the most probable uh, English. In, in English, you have to type. It will, by default, it will type in uh, on the selected language. So as a known, uh, like, you know your own language, you can select the option, the correct option, and you can just copy it. And wherever you want to paste it, any word document or anywhere you want to paste it, you can paste it here in this way. So this is one form to how to uh, get that, the typing or the regional. And the benefit of this uh, Google input, it will not be changed and it will not require any kind of particular font to be installed in computers. You can uh, create any document, any infographic, and uh, even the MS Word. In MS Word too, you can copy paste it. And wherever you are using this particular document or infographic, yeah. the font will not be changed. Okay. Any other query? Regional language I have taken. Okay. 
Okay, mathematical drawings. Ka ma'am is asking, Krishna Murthy sir is asking. Okay, uh, in infographic, if you are talking about mathematical drawing, you have to go for, you have to select for that particular infographic, uh, met or you can download the images through Google. But while creating the drawings, you can use GeoGebra. I think the session will be on Thursday on subject specific tools. Then the math expert will tell you how to create that particular. Max images. So, so the video is downloaded and just opening it and showing you. This uh, video is uh, like in fifty second, fifty five second infographic. This video of fifty seconds is being included. So the music coming out is of this video, particular video. And you can see the GIF image is also working. So the one benefit of using Canva is that you can download the infographic in MP4 version. Fine, and by default it is automatically always saved on the Google Cloud space. So whatever change I am making every time, like in the Google Do Google Apps, you find out by default within few seconds when the internet connection is should be good definitely. So it will be saved automatically. You know. No need of saving every time clicking on save, save like we do in MS Word and all. So some of the changes you can see here, you can uh, see the rule uh, margins, the guide, rulers and guide if you want to see here from the file option. Okay, we can see the view with the comment if you are giving the access to your audience uh, and you can see the comments here. You can copy and download it. Final. So if I coming back to the home, and I will see my projects. I will see the template which I have edited here. So you can directly share it from this one, download it, view link only, and you can delete it. So if this uh, account allows you, like if they ask you to, like this much uh, space has been provided and you have to delete some projects, so you have to, you can download it in the, uh, JPEG version or the MP4 version, and you can download or delete it from this dashboard, and the uh, enough space will be given to you for the future projects. So I haven't used uh, like I will not say I'm not in the regular teaching process, so I don't know what is the limit of the space provided by this Canva account. But ha, huh, you can explore yourself while you are creating. And like Sir is asking for the mass, one of the example in the mass infographic has been given. So I have to just search. In your the type of infographic, the templates, if anything is available, you can explore if any templates is explored, uh, is given. Okay, so math infographic, you can see many of the templates are given. So you can see like if you're talking about the shapes, already a worksheet is, has been created by someone. Okay. So you can copy it, paste it, and you can create a good worksheet. Uh, uh, for the especially the primary student the worksheets can be created. Here are some examples given. See the labeling part, the identification, the counting. So much templates are given. And the newsletter and the social media post can easily be created through this infographic. Okay, so I hope Canva is clear and I will just uh, can I change the font style in my own tools from my left Yes, yeah, sir. First of all. This infographic uh, can be accessed through the web version, the mobile app, and we can download the desktop version too. So definitely for uh, using any online tool, you need a device. So, and if I talk about the font style, so this is the font already given by the uh, template. I can change the font style from here. If I'm not liking it, I can change it here. The font style is changing. So you can change the font style style two and font size two. So the font size is changing. You can change the color too, I've shown you. Okay. You can make it bold. Fine. So this can be done. You can change the effects too. So in a similar way, another tool easily. So someone has responded for easily too. So if I can talk about easily, easily again, it's a free, it allows you the free account. And if you want to sign up, you can again associate with your Gmail account. In a similar way, you have to sign up with a Gmail account. 
uh, almost a similar platform, the complete similar platform. You can go for the templates. Here you have a features of just select the type of infographic or the subject like resume, timeline, process, comparison. If I'm talking about comparison, so on the basis of the type of infographic, some uh, available templates will be uh, can be used. But uh, nowadays, most of the templates are getting here the pro version, paid version. So we are not uh, suggesting that uh, easily. And we but have major if we want to find out on the basis of category or the type of infographic, you can select the few templates, whichever is available. Mostly the pro version is available. But if I want to create uh, in, in Canva and easily there's a minute difference for Canva. If I want to suppose I have created, I'm just showing you. Here, the option of resizing is not available presently. It is logged and it's come under the paid version only. But under easily, you can uh, change your size of the template. So if I talk about, I can customize it and A4 legal or the A3 sizes. So this can be created as per my requirement. The size of the template can be big. So this is one benefit of easily over the Canva. So there are many pros and cons of every tool. In the same way, the title here, the again, the toolbar will appear here. The same way you can add the graphics, the background can be changed, the different templates, the charts can be done, everything. And you can similar way, you can share, you can download it, many things can be done. So easily is again, uh, infographic tool, where in the similar way, you can, like here are already many designs available. Whatever I have created, uh, it uh, already is uh, already saved on my dashboard. Fine. Now I will just a quick, uh, uh, the last one for the Google Slides I will show you. And the one thing I would like to tell you, there are a lot of many cre infographic created on Diksha. And uh, you can take an example on an idea. I hope you have explored on explore Diksha and here, under FLN category, I have opened a few. Under FLN Nipun Bharat mission, the, the different uh, type of infographic already created. So I have opened this one. You can see here, infographics has been created. Suppose this is a simple infographic, uh, physical characteristics about self. So many of the infographic has created by our graphic team. But you can take some examples from here. If you haven't created any kind of infographic, you can select a topic and just take an example and you can create a similar kind of infographic too. Okay, so a lot of infographic has been already created. Not from Canva, I will say. It, will, it is created by our own graphic team, our own academic faculty. And uh, for creating any infographic, like for creating any e-content, you need to start with a script. Uh, so yesterday a script session has been there. So first uh, take a simple a paper and a pen, just think of a concept, identify a concept and sub-concept and just take a, a raw sketch or the raw diagram on an idea of what you want to do, what topics you have to cover, just write on a paper and then go to Canva and just select the template as per your requirement because you have to Think of an, uh, just a basic thing, whatever you require. If you uh, are not like, you are confused like what to start with, you can take a blank page or the blank fan canvas. Start with that only. Because Canva or any online tool provides you the many uh, small uh, objects or the icons you can say, through which you can just fill up the, again, complete uh, blank canvas you can fill up. So if I'm taking, yeah, if I want to take a blank canvas too, I can take that too. Time now. Okay. So next, uh, I will go to, like to go to Google Slide. I hope you already are using different apps of Google. So if I, you already have Gmail account and you know how to access your drive. If someone don't know, I will just start with the Gmail account. This is my Gmail account. And to access your drive, you have to go to this 
uh, nine dots and you have to click on drive and uh, after your drive is <clears throat> drive is open you can mostly all the collaborative tools which we use is google doc google sheet and the most important google slide we ourselves prefer to make our presentations through google slides nowadays so this is my the presentation created on google slides only so you have to go to google slides just create a blank presentation like you do in your ms ms powerpoint so what are the benefits of creating infographics through google slides <clears throat> uh like uh, by default it is given the size of the google presentation is given you can resize it going on to page setup okay and i'll just type first of all the title srg now it is a blank presentation you can select the themes of the presentation depending again whatever presentation layout you like now uh, you all know how to type and create your presentation i will not focus on that i will focus on the few features of google slides google slides uh, templates the very beautiful templates are also provided with some of the websites and one of the website is slidesco.com slidesco.com provides you the templates or the themes of the google slides and the powerpoint presentations so if i open up slides go you can see various category of the templates are provided if i click on the education and on particular education i have to choose on my lesson and it gives the beautiful ideas so these are a kind of infographics too you can create this using this if i like i am looking for the chemistry one i will just click on this template and you can see the small icons or the objects of particular subjects can be used so it will give me the particular uh, feel of that particular topic or the subject so what i have to do if i am finalizing this template i have to just click on the google slide it will get linked to my gmail id and it will ask me to make the copy i have already logged in into this account so i'm just making it the copy and uh, this copy will be created in my google drive uh, and i can use it later so you can just edit it whatever you like the small objects can be taken if you are liking the template you can copy this object okay and in the train the slide the template it has done you just make it bring it here so you can do that too at last you can see there is a common <clears throat> there are the common slides in almost every presentation where a uh, small small objects are given if you want to create a uh, dem uh, that one geographic infographic so various features of this uh, maps can be taken if you want to show a process infographic this then flow charts can be taken then a small small objects a lot of objects category are given you can use these signs or symbol anywhere you like if i want to use this mobile phone symbol i can just copy it and bring it to my presentation here so the benefit of this uh, google slides or the slide go various kind of objects and temp in the given templates is given you can see lot many templates small so in a lot many objects or the icons are given so depending on my topic i will just click it on a small object and take it to my presentation in the last of every uh, template the small icons are given besides this major theme of chemistry so slides go is the uh, providers uh, slides go providers the thematic subject wise Uh, google slide presentations so coming back to the google slides i can create my own infographic or the thing and uh, simply adding again text form and all you know insert <laughs> inserting the images too you can upload your computer another benefit of using google drive is that you can search from web 
uh, usually for every presentation, what you have to you open up the Google account. You have to search the images and download it. This allows you to search directly from Google because it is associated with the Google account. So I will just search out anything, any animated character. Suppose I am taking for my primary classes. So I will search out animated cow. Suppose. So whatever images I am liking it, I have to just click it and insert. So it will uh, come up to my template. So another benefit is that you can search the images that is not going to the Google and searching it, it will directly provide you the images, insert images from the web. Okay, another feature, if we're talking uh, like suppose we mass, uh, once uh, sir has asked for the mass, uh, various add-ons are provided here for particular sub, uh, any specific subjects. So earlier in the earlier session, someone has asked for the mass, how to write the uh, signs and symbols for the mass like integration and all. So you can get different kind of add-ons. Whatever new thing you want to do, just search on for the add-on. So I have uh, searched for the mass. I have in, uh, installed this add-on in my Google Drive. and through that, I can type my math symbol specially on this presentation. Similar way, chemistry can be done. So you can get some chemistry extensions and you can add in to your Google Drive and you can type in your presentation, the chemistry or the math or any specific icons. You can do that too. In the similar way, adding the tables, adding the charts, the bar line or bar graph, you can directly insert your sheet. One benefit again, inserting the charts. Suppose uh, I want to, I have some my data already given somewhere. Like, I'll just show you here only. Okay, I want to insert my any data, which I have to update regularly. Uh, like my office requires the data. So I will insert my chart from my sheets, already existing Google Sheets. So if I want to add some data, so I will just identify whatever data I have to uh, sorry. It will get automatically the benefit does automatically it will suppose uh, by default uh, it will select all the graphs whatever I have shown here. So I'm just clicking it and importing it. So the particular graph will be uploaded here in my presentation. And you can see after it is inserted, a link is here coming. So I can update any updation was done in my Google Sheet for that particular data. Uh, an option of update will come. Whenever that data is updated, I will just click on this icon and update option will be coming on the top and I will just click it the graph will automatically get refreshed and my data will be uploaded, up, updated. So a minute change on a daily or the weekly or the monthly basis. So whatever data graph you are inserting in this Google Sheet will be updated on a regular basis. So one feature of using Google Sheet, uh, Google presentation is that too. And uh, again, you can animate the things uh, the way you get like here, I, will, I want to animate, okay. I will just click on animation and a small animations or a big, uh, another animation, any type of animation you can turn, you can do. Clicking on this animation, if I see this cow appears to be coming from, um, fly from left and the size can be done changed. And I will add this animation. I will. I will, <laughs> I will not like to uh, make a cow to fly, fly out to left. I'm just adding some animation, you do it. I'll just play it and see what will happen. The cow appears here, okay, then goes back. So a small uh, like comic format, if you want to do uh, two characters, you can create here, you can uh, insert, insert the two characters one is coming they are talking to each other you can add a dialogue box in that if you're coming to the shape 
the call outs can be taken like here we can add the dialogs that interact with each other small animations can be done okay one another feature whenever you are making the presentation every time you have to type the title here sorry i want the title and the font size of all the uh, size should be similar so the special feature is to have a same kind of font same kind of color of any title slides can be done you have to go to slides and you can go to edit theme okay i'm again repeating if you want to have the title of every slide having the same color and the font size you can go to slide and go to edit theme so whatever changes i will make on the first slide here will appear on all the slides there is some internet issue going on there is some internet issue going on going to slide edit theme so i think i don't know i think again i will do it some other presentation here don't know why it is not happening <clears throat> okay okay so i'm going to slide i'm editing the theme I think some internet error is going on. I don't know. But coming on to slide, you have to edit the theme, and whatever make the change you made here, similar will apply in all the slides. So this will save you a lot of time. No worries, ma'am. We can try it out. Ha ha. Otherwise, better you open and again. Ah, with... I've tried up. Some internet issue. Okay. Fine. So yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Do you do we have any voice recording option here? Yes, ma'am. Indirectly, you can add your voice no, here. Insert your audio here. Fine. So from your drive to even you can do. You can add your audio here, ma'am. you have to bring it your audio um, it audio should be audio. uploaded yeah, yeah. Yes, yes yes we should upload it yes ma'am thank you i think there is one way to direct add your i think there is one way i have explored once i am not able to recall where but directly you can add your voice to here ma'am mm -hmm. i think ha huh, here you have to go to tool you have to go to this is for this is for uh, writing the script it seems you can just like click to speak yeah yes but what i'm asking is uh, just now you have shown uh, a cow with the animation right uh -huh. if we want to give the voice there our mm -hmm. voice or uh, to say some dialogue mm -hmm. it can't be done here right mm -hmm. as yes. was the case with the uh, uh, micro uh, powerpoint presentation there we can add our uh, own voice hmm directly to the slides yes yes yeah that's the thing any other uh, query i'll just open the chat box okay uh sorry sir uh as uh, the dr monica has told na katu se sale ro pata se to sayale 
I can also tell in Hindi uh, if somebody something you are not able to understand, sir. Can can answer. As the uh, doctor Monica said, preferably will be English only. So I focus only in English. Okay, GIF images, uh, Chris, sir. They definitely can be inserted in the Google Slides too. Filter options. Do we have what kind of a filter? I'm not able to understand what you are talking, uh, Sirisha. Sir, ma'am, I don't know. Filters mean what filters? Good morning, ma'am. Yes. In the sense, common creative, uh, in, uh, yesterday ma'am has explained. So when we uh -huh. are searching in a Google slide, uh, mm -hmm. in side by side, we can take from the online. Mm -hmm. So do we have a filter option over there? That was my query, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. Here's no filter option. Then you have to go to Google again. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, can we use the uh, downloaded um, slide for offline? If it is yes, yes, uh, you can go to file and you can download it here. Okay. PPTX or different format can be downloaded. Oh. Even you can download if particular slide you are like liking, you can download only this slide as a PNG form. Okay. This option is also available. The same animation will continue even in the offline or not? Yeah. So if no, you no, give... no, any animation uh, can be affected. Like many a times it happens, animation don't work after the download because download version is in the PPTX form. Okay. So sometimes it also happens like particular uh, images that you have taken from directly that I have taken a cow. It will not support in MS PowerPoint. This can also happen. So if you are want to demonstrate, if I'm using Google slide, better to give the presentations and the slide format here from the slideshow yeah. only. Madam. Madam, this is all uh, free pictures. Yeah. No, that earlier ma'am has asked. The filter options are not provided here. Here, so for applying the filters of Creative Commons, you have to go to Google and save it and insert it from here. Ma'am, I think okay. these are also Creative Commons only. The images uh, which are provided here will be Creative Commons. We cannot be sure, ma'am, because image. because mm. uh, Google is providing the again all the images, so we are not able to find it. Finalize it like, whether it is filtered or not. Mm -hmm. Change language in Canva and easily. Okay. So for changing the language, I have to use the Google input tool and whatever language I have to use, just click on the select language and uh, like suppose any any word of particular language, but you have to type it in English only. So agar, like if I am typing in Hindi. Tribhuj triangle ko hum bol rahe so tri bhuj. So I have to make random some combination even whichever the correct version will be applicable if I know that particular language. So I will click on that or just copy it and paste it wherever I want. Ma'am, can we use these things on YouTube also, madam? YouTube means? Uh, to upload videos in our channels. I am not getting. If you want to use the YouTube video of yours in infographic, you can do that. For that, you have to link that particular video. Suppose here is your Canva, and I'm just clicking it. And if I want to add a link of particular, if I want to give the students your YouTube video link on any of the object, any of the uh, element, you can just click and get the link. Of your particular YouTube video, suppose I will take an official YouTube video link here. Ma'am, video is coming. <laughs> okay, so I'm just copying it, the URL, and I will link it with my infographic. Madam, this is slides, the Google Slides and the uh, Canva is available in Play Store, madam, as a uh, Google Apps. Canva app is available, a Google Slide app is also available. You can download on your uh, with through your Play Store, you can out download, but through mobile, it's quite difficult to edit that particular like some anytime you need a major correction to be done in your presentation, you can edit it, but the screen size. Uh, Big screen size will be preferable, but mobile apps of both the Google Slide and Canva are available. Okay, so, uh, 
Kargil sir, again, again, I am repeating. You have to go to Google Input, Google Input Tools. Then you have to select the language in which you want to type. Uh, suppose I want to type in. Uh, I have shown you Tamil. I will say. So if any any one of uh, you can tell me about any sentence in Tamil, if you know, so I can show the demo. Manakam. Manakam. Okay. So I will type in English only. Manakam. I don't know the the correct version. If the if any person know what is the exact. uh type of vadakkam it can be selected from among the five options given i will i'm selecting it is not vadakkam it is vanakkam na vanakkam sorry vanakkam okay fine sir yes the first one the first one so i will just copy it and paste it wherever i want okay keshav sir are you telling me there is a option of you are asking me Because somebody has asked me already. Yes, ma'am. There is an option to add okay. a text okay, just by voice go. typing, but we have to select a language. Okay, just let me know so I can give a demo to all. Where should I go? Click on. Ah, uh, madam. Ah, uh, tools. Tools. Okay. Tools and voice typing. This I have shown you a bit right now, a few minutes back. Oh sure, sorry. Ah, but ma'am is asking if I want to. Any uh, give my voice to this cow? Is this possible? Because these are the speaker sorry, notes. Sorry. Ah, it's okay, sir. Okay. No, I think uh, both can animate at the same time. Then it will go uh, looks like I think uh, when the voice and the uh, cow image both should play at a time. Then it will. Uh... Oh, you can click on insert option. See, I have option. I have uh, clicked on cow, insert. Uh, then we can link it. I think. Like if I audio. add this audio here, it is audio is uploaded uh, by like uh, if I have recorded any audio from external source and we, I can upload. But Mam is asking directly I can add the audio of my my audio in this cow. Suppose I have opted uh, selected this cow. Now I am speak. Hello, my name is uh, White Cow. Suppose <laughs> sorry, I <didn't> know. <laughs> so I don't think this uh, this. Is recorded here. Here it is recorded here, below as a speaker note. So the audio is inserted through tools, voice type speaker note. So the speaker note is coming. This audio is not included in the cow's voice. It will be in the form of a script, not in the form Haan. of a recording. Uh, Google Slides Haan. doesn't have that feature. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, madam, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. In Google Slide, can we type in regional language, madam? Same way, same way, sir. Like already, we have uh, Google input. I have used here. Okay, and uh, ma'am, can I can I add one thing? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, in voice uh, typing only, we can choose the language. Yes, Tools yes. And, yes, there there is option. Hmm. Tools, yes. Here, na, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There we can choose the Achha, language. Okay. 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 You are saying, but, but not voice? the regional languages. It seems. Hmm. Shouldn't be. Ah, uh, Telugu. Ah, uh, Telugu. Ah. Uh, by using go in the keyboard, we can use, madam. Yes. Ha ha. Yes. Yes. Using voice, you can use. I think typing is possible. Ha. Huh? Voice typing can be possible. Suppose I am clicking it here, and uh, I think Hindi. I will select. Madam. Okay. Mera. Uh, Google in can we directly type the regional language in uh, Google slide, madam? Ha, huh, this is what ma'am is saying. You can type it in uh, regional languages. Like I will just drop it here and again show you what I have done. Tools, voice type speaker notes here, and I will select select the language. Suppose Hindi, I have selected, and I will click and type. My name is Dipti. Hai. Um, this is voice typing. Sometimes. Ha ha. But the, in, for that you have to, uh, you have to install. I think here keyboard type layout. Na, you have to install your keyboard setting. So I've already installed here. We have to download regional languages. Yes. yes. We can. You can, we can copy it from input and they can paste. Otherwise, it. yes. This is another the way too. Yeah. You can copy it from the Google input.
Any other query? <coughs> Is there any extension, madam, to add for uh, typing in regional language? Have to expose, sir. Google input, uh, I think tools are there, man. We can download. Sir is asking about the any extension or for, for keyboard, sir. You can download the languages, sir. Yes, yes, you can download it, sir. Some Google input tools are there that you can download okay. it, then you can change it on your lab in your system or laptop, then you can use your line. I hope uh, Sarsita will be providing I have to find out if any extension is given. Language extension is not given, so just like Sir told her, you can download and you can use. Um, can you please give example for inputting uh, mathematical um, signs like a square root like that uh, for typing? Okay. I have already uh, last time in the last session I have add on the math editor suit. You can see I have already installed. So I will enable for this document. I can see here. It's given here. So any any extension you can add. And after adding the extension, you have to use that. You go to extension. I will just click on use here. It's working is not coming, otherwise it, a pop-up will appear here. Then the like normally you use in Word and Internet will uh, add some icons or the special uh, features in the same way it will appear. It's not enabling here. It's working or not coming? What? You have not enabled it, madam. I have enabled it, sir. No, you are just checking the way to enable it. That is the content it's showing. You are just reading the document. So I, have, I have coming here, see? Okay, and uh, then here it is selected and it, I am using it. Okay. Mm. It's working here. The pop-up of this, uh, after using button, it is not coming up. Okay, it's saying refreshing. Right. After refreshing, after this will come. Ah, okay. I haven't refreshed it. After using it, I have to refresh. Okay, so whatever I have to bring it. I have to just click it here and it will get inserted. I have to select the element, elements, whatever I want. I think. Okay, A plus B. I have to select the, like I'm inserting the different elements here. Okay, I'll insert the document. It has appeared here as an image. Okay, ma'am. Please check so, can edit after inserting here. No, it will edit onto that box only. Whenever we are inserting any image form thing, now it is edited by coming back to that only. So. So I have to edit it and go to back version there and edit it on that. <clears throat> it is not editable here. This is providing, this add-on is providing me to inserting the equations only. I have to edit here anytime. 
if I want to edit, I have to edit here. And so, so more we explore, we'll get the things to know. I'm also learning along with you. Thank you all. I came to know when I come, it's not what I come. <laughs> okay, Monica, ma'am. Uh, if anyone, I think ma'am has answered almost all the questions. So thank you so much, ma'am, for such an informative and interesting tool. Why my voice is nice. Uh, I find it very useful if I think as a teacher, I have to deliver a lesson, suppose in a science. Uh, so I can prepare at home some good info, uh, info, uh, infographics and send to my all student before my class and in the classroom, I can discuss over it. I think this can make my student engaging, discussing and make my classroom more informative. So infographic, yes, supports us for uh, quality learning. So thank you, Mirti ma'am. Thank you, Mirti ma'am. And for such thank a good question. Thank you so much. And my colleague has put up a, a attendance sheet link. So I would request all the participants to mark their attendance for this session, for the morning session. And this link will be available for short duration. So I would request to mark their present for today. And 